Good morning guys, I've just picked Brandon up and we're going to be doing some ferreting once again. Only today we're going to try somewhere new and I'm not sure where that will be. We've parked in a local village and after walking a few fields we're finally headed towards this wood which turns out is littered with rabbit warrens. It looks like we should do okay from these sets. These holes are really cleared out which usually indicates we are dealing with a healthy number of rabbits. We've already caught three from two small warrens. The action was fast and I didn't have time to get the camera rolling. Hopefully the action will continue. There's quite a lot of holes and even though we've got 20 or more nets, I don't think we've got enough to cover all of them. I must remember to knit some more throughout the summer for the following season. Here's one of those cheap nylon nets made from sheet netting. We're only using these as backup nets because we've run out of our preferred spun nylon nets. And even though ferreters dislike the nylon net because they do get tangled up in all the debris, they also tangle rabbits really well. Brandon says he can hear one. He did hear one, but for some reason the net's not pursed and the rabbits escaped. I thought Brandon was gonna chase that one down. Should dive on it, Brad, for the camera. Here's another bolt, and I've had to plant myself on top of this one so it couldn't get away. This section of the warren looks pretty promising. We're just going to stand back and keep out of sight. Here we go, another bolt. Brambo nearly fumbled that one, but despite his cold hands, he's managed to keep his grip. Fucking only net that's got an hole in it. We can't.
the polecat's not surfaced for a little while. Behind you, Bren. And there's the polecat. With that wood finished, it was time to try separate wood. This wood was a little more dense than the first. It was a pleasant surprise to see some deer, as they're not very common around these areas, and I've never seen deer on any of our trips out. These look like roe, and I hope they spread closer to home. We didn't catch a thing from that wood, and so we headed across frosty fields back to the car. We also watched these hares for a short time as well, and we got surprisingly close. Just shows how mild the winters have been so far. We managed eight rabbits from that wood, and we've found a new place to try next season, with or without the dogs. Thanks for watching, and stay subscribed for more hunting, trips and adventures.